Warning. The footage you're about to see features Kelly Sunset unaware he forgot to save his progress after beating Southampton in the last episode. The footage features a gamer so self-centered he is completely unaware of the mistake he has made. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up guys, Kelly Sunset Gaming with you again. And we are on to our next episode in the Chelsea career mode that I'm doing on Ultimate Difficulty for FIFA 20. Last episode didn't go very well for us. And emotionally, I don't really think I'm over it. The ultimate difficulty that was introduced by EA as the update to the one that they previously had has rammed up the difficulty to a insane level. So what I've done is I've adjusted the slider slightly to put everything for the CPU down to 47, just so it gives me like a millisecond to breathe when I'm on the ball. What I would do is first off show you the calendar so you guys get an idea of what we'll be doing in today's episode. Let me just bring that up now so we've got Southampton then from there what I will do is sim the game against Newcastle which is in the Premier League as well and then I'll be playing against Ajax in the Champions League and then to finish off the episode we are simming the game against Burnley in the Premier League. I've got to take the plunge I've got to introduce more of the youth into the Chelsea squad so what I will do is skip the build up and I will show you the two teams and introduce you to the squad that I'm going to be playing against Southampton and hopefully we managed to pull off a victory. So for the lineup that I have gone with for my Chelsea squad today, we have Kepa in goal, got Tomori and Espelicueta as the centre backs, Emerson and James as left back and right back. In midfield, I've gone for Jorginho, Kovacic in those centre mid roles with, now before you say anything, Pulisic is the centre attacking midfielder. I know I've got Mason Mount, I've got Barkley, but I need somebody fast. I need somebody speedy on the ball. So I'm going to give him the opportunity there just to see how he does. Callum hudson Adoy and Willian as the left wing and right wing. And I'm just reverting back to Tammy up front. We've tried Batman, we've tried Giroud. It's just, they're not clicking the way I want them to click when they're playing up top on their own. So as a result, we're going to stick with Tammy tried true and tested southampton line up with the standard 4-4-2 um, they've got bertrand as their left back cedric as their right back and danzo and vastegard as their center backs in midfield they've got buffal hoiberg armstrong and jacob ward prowse and then up front they've got adams and long let's see how we get on Right, let's have it. Jacob Ball prowls wastes no time getting a ball into the box. Kepa saves, no trouble. Jorginho gives the ball to Pulisic, who returns it to Tammy. A one two pass in there. Didn't really break down the Southampton defence, and now they're on the attack. Buffal tries to play an early ball in. Jorginho's there to clear. Pulisic gives it away straight away. Southampton are back on the attack. Buffal skips past James. Hoiberg from the edge of the area. Makes it 1-0 Southampton. Just at sixes and sevens there, we just couldn't get the ball out from under our feet and as a result, they've just ended up tearing us to pieces. It's going to be another long day at the office, I can feel it. Goal for Southampton, number 23, Pierre-Emile Heiberg. Aspilicueta does well to get the ball there. Pulisic gives it to Callum Hudson-Odoi, he'll get the ball. Plays a ball in, but Pulisic just couldn't get in front of his man. Another long ball over the top. And the ball snatched off James. Oh, it's a great save by Kepper. Just left too much time on the edge of the area. Southampton are just deciding to pop shots. Need to get them closed down much quicker. Deep ball into the box. Well cleared by James. 
for, for a throw in. That's okay, that's okay. Well cleared. Jorginho with the ball. Gives the ball out wide to Willian. He gives it back to Jorginho. He'll try and get a ball in, but the defender just manages to clear it. Espelicueta does well there. They're just all over us. We just don't get a chance to breathe. No. Bertrand with a ball in, but Emerson does well to clear. And Cedric runs it out of play. Whistle goes half time, 1 0 down against Southampton. It's incredibly difficult just to get on the ball, do anything with it. Tammy Abraham not really had any opportunities on goal. Second half begins. Let's see if we can improve on how the first half went. Oh no, James is giving it away to Long and Long's on the break. Well defended there by Tamori, what a tackle. Deep ball in there. James will get it clear. Our clearance didn't go too well. And as a result, Southampton go 2 0 up. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Oh my god! 70 million pounds you paid for you? Never mind, I'm not going to single players out. I won't single players out. I'm better than that. It's not my management style. William wins a free kick, close to the edge of the area. Good opportunity for us. Kovacic plays it in. It doesn't even beat the first man. And Southampton on the attack again. James is too slow to get back. Ball in. 3-0, but it looks like it's offside. sod off All right, I've had to make a substitution because the midfield just doesn't seem to be clicking at all Jorginho is not fast enough on the ball there doesn't seem to be any movement around him from to be able to distribute so get Ross on Ross Barkley put in a shift come on lad it's a ball over the top but Oh, it's somehow got in. Emerson well defended. That was a close one. Oh, wow. What? What on earth happened there? It's just survival. Every game is literally... My heart is racing. Too easy. Everything we're doing is just read by Southampton straight away. They're going on the break again. There's an early ball in. On the... What am I meant to do again? What on earth am I meant to do against that?
I'm lost for words. I'm actually lost for words. Samori gives away a foul. Is that... He's carded for it as well. Don't matter. Don't matter. 21 yards out. Oh my god. James gives it away again and Bertrand just initiates another attack. It's a ball played out wide. Long gets to it, but touch isn't good enough to keep it in. Well, the blue flag's still flying high. I don't know why we're getting absolutely levered. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I'm lost for words, because I like to think I'm actually pretty good at FIFA, and this ultimate difficulty now, it's just like, no, you're not. You're rubbish. You're terrible. How on earth has that happened? Time well, questions. might as well do the uh, post-match press conference. This is essentially me trying to verbally read out a CV just to see if I can get another job because I can't imagine I'm going to last much longer at Chelsea. Southampton play better. Yeah, we'll give them that. They were the better team. Let's try and just keep the morale up of the players. Just need to concentrate on what we can do better. Agreed. That'll be all, thank you. So... Skip a few days ahead to the next game. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I need to change the formation again. But what do I change it to? I'm possibly going to have to take a little time to think off camera about how I'm going to change the formation. A lot of people will turn their nose up to this, but something that I've had a lot of luck with on my other career modes that I've played on FIFA 20 is the 4-4-2 formation. Flat four in midfield. Boring. Textbook. But it works. It works. It allows me to control the midfield, keep the defence nice and deep. And then I've got two strikers to play off each other. The downside is... Picking which two go up front. Finding that combo. We'll sim the game against Newcastle. See how we get on. one all and we were 1-0 down until the 85th minute and then Emerson managed to bring it back oh my god I'm going to be unemployed soon uh, Jorginho sent me an email complaining that he's not being selected as often as he'd like realistically I want to respond to him saying I will bite your nose off if you ever email me like that again but instead, I'm just going to say I'm counting on you in decisive moments because I'm a positive manager. So next up, we've got Ajax in the Champions League. Who wants to place bets on how this is going to go? Let's have a look at the notifications. Rhys James saying that he feels as if he needs to play this game. He can do better than Lamperty. Got to agree, I think I've just left Lamperty in there from simming it in the previous episode, but it'll definitely be James that's back in. So what I will do is I'll reassess the formation again, and then we'll cut back, and I'll advise you how I've changed it. Okay, so I've changed the formation to the 4-4-2. Rudiger and Dave as the centre-backs with Emerson and James as left-back and right-back. William Barkley, Kante and Pulisic as my midfield going to make sure that Barkley and Kante sort of remain a little bit deeper than usual and then Batshuayi and Tammy as my strikers on my bench I've got replacements for both the wing players because I can imagine they're going to get pretty tired um, 
Mason Mount as a midfielder as well as Loftus Cheek. Kurt Zuma as the defender and then Caballero as our goalkeeper. So obviously we've got loads of talent on the reserves list as well. I know that Alonso's on his way out when the transfer window opens. Samori had a really good game, but hopefully this is the formation. From here, we should be able to, you know, oh my God, I hope we can win. I need to win a game. Jorginho's in good form. Will we see him today? No, you won't. He was terrible last game. He will not have the opportunity to play this one. On paper, it looks like we're similar. Well, you said that about Lille. Look where that got us. Let's just focus on playing well. Thank you. Okay, so the morale's nice and high. Let's get into a game and I will advise you of any changes I've made to the lineup and I will also let you know about Ajax's lineup before we kick off. For the third game in the Champions League, I've lined up like this. Rudiger and Espelicueta as our centre-backs with James and Emerson as the left-back and right-back. We've got Kante and Barkley as our centre midfielders with Pulisic and Pedro out wide. Up front, we're going for Michi Batshuayi and Olivier Giroud as he has had pretty good form in the European competition this year. So hopefully he can maintain that. Ajax line up with a 4-2-3-1. Um, they've got Taligafico, Blind, Veltman and Masrui as their defenders with Martinez and Van der Beek as their centre defensive midfielders. Going forward, they've got Alvarez, Proms and Ziyech. And then up front, they've got Jans Huntelaar as well. Hopefully, we've got the opportunity to try and pull off a victory here. We'll just have to keep it tight, take our opportunities when we get them. And try not to fall asleep for a split second because we'll get punished as we always seem to be doing in the past couple of episodes. Okay, here we go. And a big working towards the Chelsea box. And Alvarez gets tackled by James. Well played. Ajax top of the group at the minute. They're going to be difficult to beat. First corner of the game and it's to Ajax. Ball in, well defended by Kante, but it comes back out to Blind. Pulisic will take the ball. And he's got a bit of pace, he'll go. Oh my God, a ball's played in. Shiru heads it straight over the bar. That's why I just can't seem to get the ball out from under his feet. Barkley does well to get the ball in midfield there. And Giroud plays the ball over. Batshuayi's got it. He'll play a ball through Giroud. Oh, oh no, no, no. There was the opportunity. Giroud just couldn't get it in time and the defenders managed to come away with it. Ball in. <sighs> Jan Sunsalar with a header at the back post but Kepa's equal to it it's another corner for Ajax they've played it short they tried to fall Pedro but he can't trick a trickster and he's played he was meant to play that to Pulisic but instead he tried to play Giroud in Kante's picked it up in midfield again It's a deep ball over there. Hey, 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 hey! He's outside the box! Not going to give that then, ref, no? Oh, rules out the window, are they? Don't matter them. Just a kickabout, innit? Oh, it's well played there. Giroud fans Pulisic. Oh, who's tackled there? None of the ball. Surely that's a card. Finally, we get a decision in our favour. Oh, well played there. Barkley does well. Oh, and Giroud wants to release Batshuayi. Oh, the keeper's coming out for it as well. Keeper sweeper. 
and breathe. Okay, so 0-0 at half time. It's not the worst. If we could just keep the pressure up. 4-4-2 is doing better for us, you know, we're having more opportunities on goal. Defence is a lot better. We're managing to control it in the midfield. Looks promising. Okay, so the second half begins. I've taken Ross Barkley off and I've brought Marco Van Ginkel on. Give him the opportunity to uh, play. So he's not really featuring in the Chelsea squad in real life, but, you know, he's another player to use. He's not bad, so why not give him the opportunity, see if he can make a difference. That's a ball from Kante to Pulisic, who will get there. Nearly had the better of that defender then. Just can't seem to break him down when it matters. Oh, Pedro. Great ball through there to Van Ginkel. Oh, it's in the box. No one could get the head to it, unfortunately. It's great there. Van Ginkel gives the ball to Pedro. Oh, he does well to keep hold of it. He'll get a ball in, surely. Oh, it's cleared again. Kante with a oh. shot that goes straight into the keeper's hands. Pedro gives it to Van Ginkel, who's in some space. He'll play a ball in. That's why he's there. Oh, it's saved by the keeper. Emerson gets it on the edge of the area. He plays a ball in. It's cleared again. Mitchy Batshuayi does well to win it in the back half of Ajax's defence and he comes in oh. he had the opportunity to open his body up and he managed to do it but again Ajax were there to defend Ajax are on the attack could be the last attack of the game We just managed to get clear in time. A ball across field there, sloppy. It's picked up. Oh, well defended. No. To Batshuayi. Well, no, no draw. It's better than what we've been experiencing so far. I think the 4 4 2 formation's working out quite well for us. Kante absolutely orchestrating that midfield. Did well to retain the ball, managed to win it back a lot of times. But a Champions League, Champions League campaign so far is not looking good. We need to really pull it back. Nil no draw against Ajax. Not the end of the world. Champions League campaign is not going well. Next up, we have Burnley in the Premier League. Let's just have a look at the notifications that we've got through from some of the players. Reese James, not the result we wanted. You know, just give him a nice little message back. He's going to be one of the big players eventually for this club, so I want to keep him happy. Kepa's happy with the amount of time that he's getting. And Callum Hudson-Odoi wants to play the next game, so let's just let him know or I'll consider it. Okay, so what I will do for this game is put Callum Hudson-Odoi in, but I will also put Ruben Loftus-Cheek in as well. Both him and Kante, incredibly defensive players, very strong as well. So hopefully they can show up that midfield. And then obviously Tammy and Batshuayi up front, the ideal pair out of the out of the set of three that I've got, the ideal pairing. So hopefully from here, Abraham can just kick on with his record that he's currently maintained in the Prem. And we've done it. Another simmed game, another goal for Emerson. Loftus-Cheek unfortunately gets an injury. We'll have a look at that before the episode ends. But... Amazing by Emerson to get another goal from the second Premier League game in a row for him. That's really good. And we managed to end the episode on a high, which is even better. So, injury doesn't look too bad. The senior physiotherapist has come back to us just advising that uh, Ruben's going to be out for seven days. I'll just make sure that he misses the next game just so that he's got the opportunity to get back to full fitness. In the player chat, Callum Hudson is always happy he got the opportunity to play. I'll just let him know to stay grounded. You stay grounded, son.
Okay, so a quick look at the table uh, before we go. So we've got Liverpool who are top 10 games and they're undefeated still. Uh, Manchester City in second with 25 points in comparison to Liverpool's 30 in first place. Um, making up third and fourth spot are Spurs and Wolves. West Ham in fifth spot, Arsenal in sixth, Everton in seventh. It's quite close at that area of the table. And then we have us all the way down in ninth. Two losses this season, three draws and five wins. Definitely room for improvement, but taking into account the fact that the ultimate difficulty was updated uh, a couple of episodes ago, I feel like it's not the worst. I mean, realistically, we have gone on a, on a terrible streak since that point. But, you know, hopefully... We can start to bounce back. Now I've gone to the classic 4-4-2. We'll have a look at the Champions League group as well. So we're in third position, four points matching Lille who have got four as well. Ajax top with five and Valencia at the bottom with two points. So next episode, we will be playing the game against Watford, simming the game against Ajax, playing against Crystal Palace and then simming the game against Manchester City. Hopefully you can join me for that one and we can get our season back on track and to winning ways. That's all I've got time for this episode. I appreciate you guys tuning in yet again. For more of this content, please do not forget to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell just so that you get updates every time that I release a new video. If you did like it, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video as well. You guys have been awesome and I will see you next time on Cali Sunset Gaming.